Vascular disease is a condition affecting blood vessels. Affecting the diminished blood flow or possible blockage of blood vessels raises the possibility that health conditions will develop from these issues. Vascular disease may affect any blood vessel in the body. It's generally not present in the early stages, and it typically takes noticeable symptoms before development. Factors that contribute to the development of vascular disease include smoking, hypertension, chronically high blood pressure, sedentary lifestyles, high blood cholesterol levels, fat levels, and a genetic predisposition. Intense ailments may be widespread, affecting many body parts and several types of blood vessels. Treatment can stem from lifestyle changes, medicine, and sometimes surgery. Because of its association with various vasculature, vascular disease may result in multiple symptoms and conditions. Commonly, the specific type of disease is determined based on symptoms or examinations. However, you may not be able to develop any or all of the particular kinds. Peripheral artery disease. This pathology affects the arms and legs, resulting in problems with healing and sometimes claudication, pain while walking. Coronary artery disease, CAD, disease of the arteries in the heart can predispose to blood clots, which may cause a heart attack. Sometimes a blood vessel in the gut can become severely narrowed or completely blocked off due to CAD. Reduced blood flow to the brain can result from carotid artery disease, which may lead to blood clots traveling to the brain. Cerebrovascular disease can be the result of this condition. Narrowing of the blood vessels in the brain can lead to complete blockage of a ship, which in turn can cause a stroke. Along with pulmonary hypertension, Severe lung and or cardiovascular disorders can lead to worsening respiratory disease and overall health, often decreasing respiratory function. Retinopathy, diseases of hypertension and diabetes can narrow and distort the blood vessels in the eyes, which may cause vision impairment. Sometimes retinopathy can occur in premature infants, too. Chronic venous insufficiency, diseases of the veins can cause swelling and pain in the extremities especially legs. Other changes can occur, as well. Renal artery disease. The blood vessels of the kidneys can become narrowed and damaged due to chronic illness, potentially leading to kidney failure of one or both of the kidneys. Ray nose disease is characterized by intermittent narrowing of the blood vessels. It is passed down as a heritable condition not associated with lifestyle habits. However, symptoms can be exacerbated by bad habits such as smoking. Various vascular diseases can cause vasculitis, like systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, or rheumatoid arthritis, RA. In addition, an infectious condition can lead to severe inflammation that enters the vessels. Varicose veins, the presence of swelling in the veins of the limbs can cause them to be visible. This can cause cosmetic concerns, but this condition does not have a profound medical effect. Aneurysm, a peculiarity in a blood vessel, such as an abdominal aorta or a cerebral artery, can have dangerous consequences if a crack develops and ruptures, causing bleeding. Vascular disorders may hinder arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries are large blood vessels that bring nutrient rich oxygenated blood from the heart to the organs. Veins are more minor than arteries, carrying blood from the organs back to the heart. Capillaries are tiny blood vessels that reach individual cells for the direct exchange of oxygen. Warfarin, vitamin K, different fats, and other toxins, like carbon dioxide, could cause the effects of cardiovascular disease. The symptoms could slowly worsen over extended periods or even last several years. You might not be conscious of any side effects for several years, or you might not even witness any indicators of a malfunction and a severe health problem might be the initial sign of your venous disease. The first warning signs of vascular disease can include dry skin on the feet, toes, and, very rarely, the fingers non-healing wounds on the feet, toes, or fingers. Claudication, pain, cramping, or discomfort, skin changes, like leathery skin, pale skin, or cold, clammy skin on the feet, toes. The pain of the feet, toes, or fingers and shortness of breath with exertion. Angina, chest pain, 
with work or at rest can include stable or unstable angina. Transient ischemic attacks, TIAs, can consist of brief episodes of dizziness, speech impairment, or weakness on one side of the body. The vascular disorder can worsen gradually and quietly. This condition can lead to significant sabbaths due to insufficient blood flow and blood clots. Impaired areas where disturbed blood flow causes problems are substantial consequences of vascular disorder. Side effects of particular territories that are impaired by blood flow include Deep vein thrombosis, DVT, in the arm or leg, pulmonary embolus, PE, kidney failure, stroke, heart attack, intestinal ischemia, mesenteric ischemia, blockage of blood vessels supplying the gastrointestinal system. Aside from other medical conditions, such genetic disorders as a blood clotting disorder, cancer, or inflammation can affect your risk of developing complications if you experience vascular disease by agitating the probability of blood clots. Matthew, a survivor of cancer and stroke, requests that you help spread awareness of severe diseases by publishing this video. Please take a moment to subscribe to and like this video.